we're going to talk about the network feature, which helps customers handle overlapping IP environments. To configure networks, first you go to the scanner section within Tenable IO, and you'll notice that there's a new tab here called networks. Now, one of the main use cases for networks is when you have two environments that have the same IPs, same IP uh, layouts or overlapping IPs. That often happens when you have, let's say, to a retailer with multiple stores in different locations that are all configured the same way. In this case, I um, have a San Francisco store and a Seattle store. One thing to notice is that there's a default network for, all scan for any scanner which is not assigned to a user-defined network. Now to add a scanner to a network, you click on the network and you can just hit the plus button and that will move the scanner into a network. And if you click on the X here, it will move the scanner out. Now in this case, I've added the Seattle scanners to my Seattle network. That's, the, that's all you have to do to configure networks. Now, when you configure a uh, scan job, the scanner selected as part of that scan job defines the network property that will be applied to every single asset discovered by this scan. Now I've already run this scan, but when I go to the asset workbench, you can see here that I have uh, six total assets, but really this, these are only three of these are duplicated. And the reason they're duplicated is because some of these are part of the San Francisco network and some of these are part of the Seattle network. So for instance, if I looked at the 231 asset, you can see here that this is actually the 231 asset that's part of San Francisco. However, if I looked at the second 231 asset, you can see that this is actually part of the, um, the Seattle network. So this is the main purpose of networks, which is to allow you when you have two assets that have the same IP address, but are actually referring to different assets, to be able to separate those two and to create two separate assets in Tenable IO. Before the network feature, these would have been collapsed into a single asset, so you would have had a corrupted vulnerability history. Now this is an MVP feature, so one thing I want to call out is that not all features within Tenable are network aware. Some of those that are not network aware include access groups, dashboards, and recast. Places which are network aware, or features which are network aware, are the export APIs, the asset workbench. So for instance, I can go in here and select network name, and that will show me only those assets within the network. Tags, where I can do the same, I can define a dynamic tag based on the network name, and the exclusion, um, the scanner exclusion rules. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please refer to the online documentation or talk to your Tenable account representative.